my partner in crime, Yasmin, is currently covering the Beale Street Festival in Memphis, so I'm here with my friend Katie. And now you're kind of new here, Katie, so if you'd like me to do most of the talking, I love talking, just let me know. It's done, you know that. I never shut up. And trust me, I got this. Now go ahead and explain that little heat trackery thing that you do. That's this thing. I uh, want to know how we do what we do so darn well. Well, we use this amazing program, we call it the Heat Tracker, and it always keeps us abreast of the top trending stories so, in music. For the full list of trending artists, don't forget to click right here on the fuse.tv slash t link. Now go for it, Dan. Let's do it. First up, we got Nicki Minaj, and she is not happy. Earlier this week on Idol, Mariah made a comment about how difficult it is to make the top of Billboard's Top 100 list, which appeared to be a jab at Nicki Minaj, her fellow judge. Mm -hmm. Blogger Perez Hilton caught wind of this battle, and on his website he wrote, Mariah Carey burns Mickey, Nicki Minaj on Idol for lack of number one songs. To which Nicki replied, Wah ha, burn! She said, I tied her record for Hot 100 entries in only three years of being in the game. Yep, a black female rapper at Perez Hilton. Jeez. Uh, and then she followed up with, what you should be doing with your messy ass is asking why a woman so successful at her age is still so insecure and bitter at Perez Hilton. Nikki punctuated her attack with a reference to those recent rumors about J-Lo rejoining Idol to replace Mariah. All damn number ones, but J-Lo phone ringing? LOL. I guess having a personality, being a secure woman, and giving genuine critique still trumps that. Mariah has yet to publicly respond to Nikki. Yeah, hmm, right. I wonder what she'll say. Next up, we have Mac Miller. Uh, the rapper made the announcement we've all been waiting for in a message which currently has over 6,000 retweets. He said the following. Watching movies with the sound off, June 18th. That's right, folks. Mac's second studio album will hit the stores June 18th, and we cannot wait to see what it sounds Certainly like. Certainly not. And finally, on a more somber note, we do have some terrible news to report. Um, legendary metal band Slayer tweeted, Slayer is devastated to inform that their bandmate and brother, Jeff Hanneman, passed away at about 11 a.m. The tweet was linked to a longer message on their Facebook page, and in it they explained that liver failure was the cause of Hanneman's untimely death. Yeah, rock legends all over Twitter uh, tweeted out their condolences. Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses sent out this message. He said, Jeff Hanneman of At Slayer, RIP. Wow, I'm so very sorry for your loss, Hanneman family. What is that week for music, yeah, RIP, really. Jeff? That's a lot of people. Those are some of today's top trending stories. You can follow us at T10 for around the clock trending updates. And don't forget to tune into Trending 10's weeknights at 7.30 on Fuse. Thank you.